you, you and you That's and you all wrong. signed. Sure you're wrong. Did no? When you go to the academy, the only thing you're required to do is to. But did you? With it, all right, I'm about to own you. Where you can get ready, brother. Laws. Get ready. You. Get ready. you. Yeah, I did not film a criminal yeah. investigation. You know how many DWIs I've recorded? My information. You, still you don't get my ID. You don't get my ID. Yeah, so I'm telling you now that it's, it's a, a private lot and that we can't, you know, we, it's a super supervisor's on his way out. If you want to do a story, you yeah, got to go about like the right the, way to do it. No, I would certainly. Formal request that you provide your driver's license. But it's not a lawful request, correct? It is a lawful request. From what, what, what is the statute? 35. Dot 36, 11, 36. Hello, everyone. Today I'm excited to introduce a thought provoking video about citizen rights and police understanding. In this video, we'll witness a dramatic ID refusal situation where a citizen stands firm in defending their rights against police officers demanding information without valid reason. The tension escalates as this individual asserts their right to remain silent under the Fifth Amendment, emphasizing that the request for ID without clear justification is an invasion of personal privacy. This isn't just an ordinary confrontation, it's a profound lesson on how citizen rights can be challenged and the importance of understanding and defending one's own rights. Let's watch together and feel the power of resilience in the fight for personal freedom. The police officers, considered experienced, handled the situation poorly. They weren't letting me in a minute ago, you know, that's a lawsuit if I wanted to. Spent time here in Clinton, that's it, but here we have... Is she, uh, what's your name? I want to take you to an interesting facility of the U.S. Department of Agriculture in Clinton, Arkansas. Here, it's not only a public agency office, but also houses the police station and a beauty salon. This showcases the intersection of public service and commerce, where every citizen has the right to access freely. When we arrive here to film under the First Amendment, it's perfectly reasonable, and there's no reason to present ID to the police. However, tension arises from an uninformed police lieutenant who requests ID without just cause. This action clearly violates the Fourth Amendment, undermining citizens' rights. Let's recognize and fight for these rights. Let me zoom out a little bit. No trespassing. Open, come in. Restricted area. Open, come in. U.S. government property. No trespassing. Open oh, signals here. Oh, it's not. Hey, it's just me. I don't need any help. I'm just looking around. Oh, cool. So what do you guys do for the public here? Like I know what you, this, this is actually an NRCS facility, Natural Resource Conservation Service. Oh, okay. Species Soil Conservation Service. I typically just uh, any example. Basically, we're here to support farming, food production. In our area, it's mainly livestock production. Cool, man. I appreciate your time. What would it be on? The Random Patriot. Let's see what we got here. Look at this. This small town, 500 people, they have dash cams. And then you go to bigger towns. Um, bigger towns lot has like 10 times the people. They do not have dash cams in their freaking cars. Um, oh, we got, a, we got a dirty ass car, bro. But still, you got that dash property. Public property. That is a personal truck. Dude probably uses it as a non-personal. He's got the antennas on it. But it's like... Neither is this. No personal property tag, but they're parked right up under here. I wonder what's that about. If we see somebody looking at our place cars... Come talk to me, equipment. sure. But don't, but don't threaten to arrest me if sure. I don't give you my no, ID. I, I didn't. I just said Arkansas is one of the 15 out of the states. That's not correct. A, a demand or request. Nope, you that's have not to correct. Provide some identifying you need to look into it because you're going to get yourself in trouble. That is not true. And I'm a thousand percent positive, and I can show you case law and Supreme Court rulings and everything. Yes, we're just concerned about what you're doing. Well, do not think that you and can just stop an ID anyone you want. You're going to get yourself in trouble and your non constitutional. What's going on? I'll be mean, You are un No, if you think you can do that, yeah, you, you, you don't believe in the Fourth Amendment if you think you can do that. You know, what's the what's the Fourth Amendment? Uh, this is, no, no, no. This is important to everybody that you know the Fourth Amendment. What is sure, it? Sure, I know it. It's so, out of freedom. <laughs> no way you just said speech. that. No, that's the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, the, that's what I'm saying. The First Amendment. No, the First everybody, Amendment. Okay. All right. Just, the, um, oh my God, dude! And you're a lieutenant. Is your chief here? 
No, he's off. Tomorrow. We need someone to teach you what the Fourth Amendment. Is. What is the f no? Okay. What What's the five elements of the First Amendment? There's you know, there's just, five you know, elements. We just, we just had some there's concern. five elements of some concerns and questions for you. There's five elements of the First Amendment. What are they? Well, I'm gonna go ahead. And what are they, sir? If you don't you need to go study the Constitution, and until you do, don't say a word to me, please. Go back inside, look up the Constitution, and read those rights. Other than that, you don't know what you're doing or what you're talking about, and you don't need to be a lieutenant. And I'm sorry I'm getting mad, but that is ridiculous. Come to yourself for not knowing the first or the fourth. Walk of shame right there, and it's deserved. Lieutenant Solomon, you're opening this door to be locked because of me. You're not allowed to pick and choose who comes to everybody for the rest of the day. Or you're opening yourself up for a lawsuit. And you better have a good reason for having it. There's a guy with a camera. So you better open this door and we can get this over with. Why are you guys so scared of someone with a camera? What are you hiding? Showing me around. Making yourself look good. Making your town look good. Let's start over. Show me around and have a pleasant conversation so we can change this. I'm willing to, re I'm, I'm willing to start over. All right, I gave you a chance. I'm honestly not gonna waste my time in this stupid little hallway. This lady right here. Uh-oh, they're sending the sheriff. The sheriff showed up. Sir, how are you? What's up, guys? Good. All right, I can come in now. They weren't letting me in a minute ago. You know, that's a lawsuit if I wanted to. I don't want to. I'm literally just trying to have a pleasant time here in Clinton. That's it. But here we have. Is you, uh, what's your name, sir? County. Awesome. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Justin. Good mix, Justin. Uh, so why'd they send the sheriff down here? They, we all monitor the radio track. Hey dude, if hey, hold on, call, before you lie on camera. If we get a call, if we get a call over the sheriff down we, here. I heard them on, I have them on, on video okay. calling the Any, sheriff down here. Anyway. Uh-oh, they're saying. So now you're lying on camera. So now I don't want to talk to you either, dude. Goodness. If we get a call, we're going Just be to real, just be a real person for two seconds. Why can't, I am. Yeah, you're in here causing a problem. No, I'm exercising my rights. Yeah, but if, you, if it becomes disorderly... I told you my name's Justin. Okay. You can, you can ask, and I don't have to tell you. Okay. You have to have reasonable or... So, you, you have to have... That's water. No, you're not. It's you have to have a crime. You're on private property looking at people's Again, levels. if you call... No, this is public. This is public property. If you call a disturbance... This is public. Were you parking your cop cars back there? As long as Then it's public. It's public. I'm civil, brother. That's what I'm saying. But if it's this sort of conduct, yeah. but until then, Don't, as long as you're still, you can also look at private things back there too. Cause we I can look at private, anything I can see from public. Private property back that's there. That's public. Uh, 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 if you park your cars there. back there, that's public. The other cars are public. And public. even if it was private, I have to be. Tr so no one in here knows what the hell they're talking about. This is getting crazy. He 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 said that he can make me ID. Just mind blowing that he thinks that. Because you're he doesn't sick. know what the. He didn't, they don't know what you're doing. I asked him what the Fourth Amendment was, and he says freedom. You had to go look it up after. You did, well, okay, what's the five elements of the First Amendment? If, if you state your what's last the, name, what's the two of them? Okay, we well, have to ask your full name. Give me two. You can ask all day, and I can tell you no. Well, just like you said, he had to go look it up. You can sit down. And know them by know. heart. That, that doesn't matter. It's not required no. by law for anybody to know it. It is required by law. Do you no, and you no, and no. did no? When you go to the academy, the only thing you're required to do is to Brother. to read it. Because did you? With it, all right, I'm about to own you. Where ready. You, you get ready. You, you get ready. You swore an oath to the Constitution when you were signed in, and I could find that on video to the Constitution. Okay, so you were there. No, but, it, but that is what See, all police lying. do. You're telling us we're lying. No, you're lying. it is required. No, you're, no, you're it, trying to, you're making dude, it you're, up. You're, you're, you, I'm listen. So you, can you so you did, so you didn't so swear an oath? For, hey, you're being you can call me whatever you want. See? It doesn't hurt my feelings I'll be like as it does yours. As you're being. It's not hurting my feelings. It obviously is. I've been doing it first. Answer me this. I did don't you have to answer you. Did you sign it? Did you wrong. swear an oath to the Constitution? That's where you're wrong. He I says he didn't. He does not believe in the Constitution and he did not swear an oath That's to it. That's what you believe. You're gonna have to get out of If you continue, if you continue, continue yes, ma'am. Yeah. at that point, it would be a disorderly conduct. Dude, chill out. You're stupid. Uh, okay, you call me stupid, I call you stupid. Swore an oath to the Constitution. No, I'm not answering. You walk around thinking that you have no 
uh, duty to the Constitution. To the, live the, Constitution. the Constitution. The Constitution. No, I don't. Then I don't answer to you. Have a good day, sir. Uh, do you get state tax and federal taxes? Have a good day, sir. So you don't. Have a good day, sir. You guys don't know anything here. You don't get. Day, no, you sir. can't. That's freedom. Of, that's freedom of speech. You don't know the Constitution. You obviously What's freedom of speech mean? Of disorderly conduct. If you inside a riot. If you. If you As an outsider, I can't help but feel frustrated by the police's way of working. For an ordinary citizen, a lack of legal knowledge might be acceptable. But when a trained police officer shows a passive attitude and mishandles a very simple situation, it's hard to accept. The appearance of the police chief seemed to bring a bit of clarity to the situation as they began a dialogue discussing citizen rights. But why do we need a superior to remind them of the basics of rights? This truly disappoints me regarding the shortcomings in understanding and protecting citizen rights by law enforcement. Calling the sheriff down here. Uh oh, they're sending the sheriff out here. So now you're lying. Goodness. If we get a call, we're just be respond. real. Just be a real person for two seconds. Why can no one just be a real person you in here? A real person. I am. Yeah. Besides my rights. Yeah, but if, you, if it becomes disorderly, I told you my name's Justin like six times. Really. Yeah, well, you last okay. You can, you can ask. You have reasonable or so, you, you have to have. No, you're not. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. No, this is public. This is public property. This is public property. Were you parking your cop cars? Back? I'm civil, brother. That's what I'm saying. But if it did become disorderly, then you could be charged with disorderly conduct. Yeah. But in private things, good. I can look at anything I can see from public. You can't trespass my eyes. It's private property back That's there. public there. Uh, That's public. The other cars are And public. even if it was private, I have to be trespassed before I've committed a crime. So no one in here knows what the mm -hmm. he, he He said that he can make me ID just because he wants to. That is mind-blowing that he thinks that. I asked him what the Fourth Amendment was, and he says freedom. That's not. That's right. embarrassing, dude. You have the five elements of the First Amendment. If you state your what's the, name, what's the five right what's the five them. elements? Give me two of them. Okay. We well, have right to and I can tell you no. Well, just like you said, he had to go look it up. You can sit down in your car and look up every. Dude, I know them by it. heart. That's anybody that know it. It is required by law. Do you no, and you no, and you and you wrong. all sign? That's where you're wrong. Did no? When you go to, the, to brother to read it, because did you? With it, all right, I'm about to own you. Where you can get ready, brother. Get ready. You, you swore an oath to the Constitution when you were signed in, and I could find that on video, I bet. So you swore an oath to the Constitution. Okay. So you were but all you police lied. do. You're telling us we're lying. No, you're lying. it is required. No, you're if you didn't, into the right because you don't know. You're it, trying to. You're making. Dude, it. Listen. So you. So you did. So you didn't so swear an oath. So, so you, you didn't swear an oath. I'm telling you, you're being. You can sign it. Did you wrong. swear an oath to the Constitution? That's where you're wrong. He says he didn't. So you did. This sheriff, he does not believe in the Constitution. If you continue, if you continue, and yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I explained to you yeah. at that point it would stupid. Uh, okay, you call me stupid. I call you stupid. You don't. You don't even know that you swore an oath to the Constitution. No, I'm not. You have no uh, duty to the Constitution. To the, people, the residents. The of Constitution. Do you live the in Constitution? Don't. No. Then I don't answer to you. Have a good day, sir. Uh, do you get state taxes? Do you have get federal day, taxes? Sir. Do you get state and federal taxes? Have a good day, you guys don't know anything have here. You don't get. Day, no, you sir. can't. That's freedom of speech. That is. The, that's freedom of speech. What's freedom of speech mean? Of disorderly conduct. If you incite a riot. If you, if you incite a riot. What riot includes, am I inciting? Which includes any freedom of freedom of speech. Then you are you guys are the making the right, then not me. I'm by myself. Making the right, you're the one. I'm by myself. To the ones that are supposed to know the Constitution, and I know it ten times more than you. That's fine. You guys don't know anything about it. Your whole job, Constitution. Our whole job is to uphold the, the state Constitution. Laws that are in the nope. What's more important than state laws? Federal laws. Absolutely. Law. No way. That's you just said that. Wrong. No. Yes, it That's does. Where you're wrong. Yes, it does. Yeah. I promise you. If the if we the Supreme Court saw state laws state wrong, state law. then it's wrong and over with. Arkansas doesn't get to say, well, we get to do whatever Arkansas we want. Constitution. You're, you are. No, I'm not. You're embarrassing Say your name again. You if here, you don't think you're embarrassing you yourself, what's here. your name? I won't say my name until you say yours. I already said it. I, full name. I don't I have told to. you my full name and who I work Yeah, because it's your job to. It's not I, mine. I'm a yeah, private citizen. You are not. A, but you're You're the government. I'm, a, I'm the people. It, Listen to me. You request my name. I'm the people. Yours. You're the government right now. And I'm the people. And this is right now that says that I have to give you my name. That's in your policy. That's in your policy. I'm asking you. 
you. Give me two minutes and we I could look the, it up. We wrote the poet, dude. Because you're obviously passionate about what you're doing. Yeah. That's wonderful. I know what I'm doing. That's you wonderful. do not know what you're doing. You're embarrassing your entire county and you're not going to get reelected now. Get down and try to and you're going to be screwed. Out of the Constitution specific things dude, it's not even pick out. It's, fuck, no, it's it's First not. Amendment right. First. No, it's not. What are the five elements no, of the First not. Amendment? No, you don't know it. You should be proud to say it regardless of whatever I said before. If you want to come by my office You should be proud. I'm not talking to you, dude. I'm not I'm not confronting you out in public and you trying to somehow attack me or, or attack me. me. You were and called because of me and I have it on film that you were. Okay, nobody called He me. walked in and you said, call the sheriff. You talk about somebody lady who did. on for I have it on film, dude. I, I have it on film. See, you don't want me to say this because it's going to make you look dumb. Say whatever you want. Go ahead. Okay. That a radio's on. If any officer hears just That's not what happened. To, to, it doesn't matter. I have it on film. I have it on film. Dude, six people were what? not dispatched down here. It just went across the radio. No. And we always yeah, the go lady and back up any he, call. Dude, crying about what I said to him. Then that lady immediately says, call the sheriff down here. And I have it all on film. Okay. He's called down here. My phone didn't ring. And no okay, one so, me on so the they radio. did it over the radio. There you go. It's it's a it's a yeah. specifically when I took off. So did they call you down over the radio? So did they call you down? So did they say call the sheriff down here? No, so nobody uh, that's said. disorderly. Can you arrest him? He's You're yelling. You're a smart aleck. You're a smart You're, you're embarrassing you yourself, dude. You are embarrassing yourself. Do it. See, it's on yeah. video. I'm See, you're totally sheriff. wrong. You didn't even know what you're talking about. They said, about. call the lie. sheriff you're down here. Yourself. Video don't it's, lie. It's a recording. Video don't lie. Dispatch, Dude, neither does that. walk away. You're embarrassing yourself. You're ridiculous. Everything you say, no. You're stupid, dude. You're stupid. All you can do, okay, whenever you start repeating, that means you have nothing left to say and you're no, embarrassing it means that yourself. You keep because you have All right, nothing dude. New. So, in that case, and every time you're dismissed. I to you what you're you're saying. dismissed. How about that? You're dismissed. How about that? Later. Maybe we will if you come see me. God, I hope so. Cause you're content. You're nothing you but so content. Well. There in a little bit. How about that? That's wonderful. Before you close today, I'll see you up there. I'm, I'm a sheriff's Give office. Give everybody a warning. Door. Yes. Yeah, not it's not open door. They locked it on me. So you're just proving how they were wrong for locking the door. She's not. There's like four cops in there, dude. You what are you? You're making shit up as you go. You're dismissed. Go back to your freaking office. Dismissed. You're not. You're, well, I'm not requiring you to be here. <laughs> you're free to go. At I'm any free time. to stay too. Just like I am. Cool. No, but I'll shake your hand and say thank you for coming by. Now, I would have earlier, but not anymore. You no. did, right there at the door. Yeah, and no, I did earlier. And you don't like me right now, and you're upset with me, is because I'm standing here and no, talking I'm, to you I, civilly. Now you're making, you're, you're, you're lying, you know what saying, assuming, right? Say, that's child. You know what you assuming have, does, right? You right now have a five-year-old's no, attitude You're assuming, child. says the guy that was just, this is the guy that was repeating everything I, I said. I've experience in 25 years. Dude, you're dumb as hell. This is, I've never met a, and I have, I have hundreds of videos. The same respect and level of education. This is ridiculous. Y'all should be embarrassed right now, dude. Again. Go back to your office, you're dismissed. I serve the people of Amarion County. You, listen. If you don't live here, One thing you need to go home to, and the Constitution serves the people. You serve the Constitution. So you come here from out of town, and you you go town to town, and you try to tuition or audit just to try to engage police officers. Is that what you're doing? Because uh, you're bored. More assuming. You're you're, you're, you're free to go. You're you're a free. You're free to go. You're not. You are not detained. Here. You're free to go. I know I'm not because I know I know, I know the law. I know I'm not because I know the law. And there he goes, being a five year old again. Yep. This is not a service. I to the yes, it is. No, dude. when people that actually believe in our Constitution, it embarrasses. You don't even know what the Constitution is to you, believe in it. You don't know. You think you, you think Arkansas? Get out of my know. face if you think you that. Do not know. You think Arkansas law supersedes you it? Do, not know. do you think Arkansas law supersedes it? Know. Answer the Arkansas law, law supersedes the Constitution, Maddox. Officers. Maddox, do you think that Arkansas law supersedes the Constitution? So. Proud to say hell no. You should be proud to say hell freaking no. It doesn't. The Constitution is all. Thing is over the Constitution. So you think because a federal agent comes here and says that I'm supposed to take somebody's weapons away, federal? Does that say that in the no, Constitution? Absolutely I'm not. saying the Constitution. The State Constitution says we are a right Bro. to open carry. Whatever and comes to that. And that's Arkansas Constitution. All right. You just earned. So you tell you me earned, which, no. You tell me which one supersedes. All right. So you were wrong. Admit it. I'm not wrong. I'm about to give you. you I'm trying wrong. to give you some you credit. Mean, if you'll stop talking for two seconds, I'm about to give you some credit, bro. Explain it. <laughs> I disagree. I am not wrong. saying anything that the government says supersedes anything you say. I am saying the cover talking to me for two in seconds, the, dude. Let me just finish my fucking sentence. This is annoying as hell. Let me finish my sentence. I apologize for getting. Can you not talk for two seconds? Good lord. Point, you no, you don't. I'm no, trying to tell you, you that you don't. Get angry. God, so dumb.
The Constitution says that the government can never take our guns away. So when I say the Constitution, I'm not talking about some new law that gives me the Second Amendment right. right. So, when, so what I'm about to give you credit for is thank you for if some tyrannical government that might be federal tries to take them away and you're going to stop them and you're not going to take them away from me. Now, all respect to you for that, regardless of anything you've been wrong about before. But I was not saying the government supersedes our Constitution does, and the Constitution has the Second Amendment. So you were wrong by saying, well, what if a federal agent? That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Not, not some federal agent. Okay. So you're just, you're just reaching for some way to win, and you have no idea what you're even... Amendment is the Constitution. You did, you did because... Because I have public, out, I have public servants here that don't know what they're talking about. When you lose don't argument, know what they're, dude, you, can, you can't stop interrupting anybody. You're a disgrace. You spoke for five minutes straight. You wouldn't let me this whole time. Which has nothing to do with the Constitution. It just makes it absolutely you does. Getting pissed off because because you don't know it. Because you don't wrong. Because I'm saying the Constitution is. It, you think I'm wrong by saying the Constitution supersedes Arkansas state law. That is mind blowing. And I did not say Arkansas. So, okay. Law. So you can record your video and you can play same that thing. Back. Say it for I me. I said the Arkansas Constitution. So you think you, you just lied when you said no. I said Arkansas law. You just lied. I think you said law, but I'll just agree no. to agree. I'll, I'll agree to disagree. You said Constitution. Fine. That's still wrong, brother. That's still wrong. Arkansas Constitution does not supersede. It does not. Please say it for the camera. That it does. Because I'd love to have that on camera. Say it for the camera. S say Arkansas. Like, you dude, are, you're smiling. Because that, that was kind of funny. you're almost laughing. Because that was kind of funny. I know. But, but, you, but you're I, five I, years old, dude. You're five years I'm old. I'm dealing with a five-year-old. So this I'm is, myself down to he is I can see it on his face. He's embarrassed for who he's working for you right now. You admitted to me that you were. I can see it on Maddox's face. Constitutional audit. Because Dude, you just, you're bored. It's not more time on my hands. I don't have two seconds of spare time. Coming down here just because I overheard. Then go the back to your office, bro. I've dismissed you 12 times. I dismissed you the same amount of time. I said you're free can't to do go. It. You can't were never do it. being detained. Can't do it. You were never detained. You can't dismiss me. I'm undismissible. So now you got two of my names. Justin, Mine's undismissible. Late. Mine's late. Hell yeah. Like Robert E. Lee. You do realize that I wasn't called on the radio. I overheard the radio and I came down here. But but, sure. but wait, I'm just get, trying to explain this to you. I came down here to You're just trying sure. to start an argument, dude. No, I came this down was stuff from the past sure that you just keep bringing up. All right, here. so I'm going to believe everything you just said. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to believe everything I just said. I have on camera mm -hmm. him going in there and saying there's a guy outside with a camera. And I have it on camera. But just because she says call the sheriff down here, that doesn't mean All dispatch right. received that call that says send cool. the sheriff. Just coincidentally. It's less than five minutes to the sheriff's office. I told you the radio perfect. was on. Perfect. So perfect timing. Overheard. So fine here. The sheriff's down here. Overheard Interesting. Having a disturbance at Interesting. The city Man, you're not a very good detective. I can see I that. I can see that. Okay. I can see that. So you, so you heard over the radio a man with a camera a and you. I said a disturbance at the. Where's the disturbance? Department. I'm standing in a public I parking know. lot. I, I, I take so you agree there I is no disturbance? Up. Only those who have experienced this situation can truly feel this citizen's deep frustration with police handling. There's a clear lack of respect, a sense of disappointment when one's rights are violated by those considered representatives of the law. Being put in a vulnerable position by those who should protect you is truly painful. I sincerely hope this will not happen again and that we won't witness such violations in the future. Why did this citizen filming call these officers ignorant? Man, I would have helped her too. Yeah, you can't yeah, you can't fix stupid at all. <laughs> the Constitution stands firm on principles of fairness and equality, serving as a platform for every citizen's rights in modern society. We should take pride in living in a system where our rights are protected by law. Under the First Amendment, freedom of speech and the press allows individuals to film and record police while they perform their duties, as long as it doesn't interfere with their work. However, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a citizen faced police dissatisfaction while exercising this right. They attempted to drive him away and demanded identification, which completely contradicts the protections afforded by the Fourth Amendment. It's disappointing to see such fundamental rights being violated.
Good about yourself, man. Y'all more than welcome to film? Nah, don't start giving directives, dude. Don't start telling no, 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 don't give directives. Listen, if something happens, I don't want you to be in okay? You'd have no concern for our safety. Well, all right, what? 218, what's your name? Don't need the directives, thank you. I'm 44, I don't need help. Shut up, real quick. You all right, man? I'm good, big dog, man. I'm all right, cool. You're good. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to remember you. I'm going to take care of you. We like to help out when we can. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know what's going on. You're in the bush as well. They can do that right now. I'm with you. But the best thing to do is not say nothing in reality. I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, gee. Congrats. How many years have you done? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How many years? No, I ain't never did no years in the no, Oh, you're no, in the schooling. No, I got kids I got to take care of. No, I'm yeah, yeah. No, no, I ain't got no driving and my mom's car is kind of flat. And, like, I've been just the bop of these, so it's like just all over the world. Boy. You got a spare? I have a all over the world, boy. Yeah, 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 we're right across the street. I don't have Leave her alone. She's recording. They're fishing a dude. I still say the best thing is not say. No, no, no. I'm dealing. <laughs> they living with somebody you never dealt with it before. My, my dad is hot rod, man. Hot rod, hot man. Yeah. I, I'm a hot rod with son, man. They, <laughs> if you have any, if you have any law, you. I'm good with that. I'm not worried. first thing in the morning. Yeah, I'm but good. I'm good with that. Don't worry about that. You just go in your house. I'm just trying to love. Them. I got to use the bathroom. Yeah, they're not caring about that, huh? I no. I got to use the bathroom. No, I said they're not caring about that though. No. I,
comes off. The, the front toes messed up and they, they coming my road not for the track. And They broke that. A A87. A87. As you can see, even an ordinary citizen can put police in a difficult position with their legal knowledge. This raises the question. Why is this the case? The answer is not hard to guess. Police legal knowledge is lacking. In this situation, they faced mockery from a citizen who knew their rights and wasn't afraid to reflect that ignorance. It's sad that those entrusted with enforcing the law cannot stand firm against citizens' understanding. Well, it's just a straight out, I'm gonna get it from your neighbor. That's fucking retaliatory. He's f***ing yep. See this crap? Try it on somebody that don't know their Man, I would have helped her too. Yeah, you can't yeah, you can't fix stupid at all. Martin. We don't have nothing to hide, man. Nope. I'm going to get from your neighbor. Come on, dude. Man, how old are you? How old are you? Are you going on 12 or 10? Dumbass. Dumbass. Watch out. These fools fucking... Man, everything was going good, but he's got to act a fucking fool. Daniel, quit cussing. If we follow the law, there's nothing to fear from the police. Every citizen has rights and is protected by the U.S. Constitution. Next, let's look at a situation where the police realize that citizens have every right to take photos here. Just taking some pictures, doing a story, working on a story for my personal self, and uh, is there someone who uh, wanted to do a story on the police station? Absolutely, I would direct him to the kind of race. Right. Parks, beaches, police stations, hospitals, banks. Everyone knows these are public spaces where people have the right to freely engage in activities like taking photos and recording without causing disruption or infringing on others' privacy. In this situation, an auditor is exercising their right by capturing images at a parking lot of the Cheektowaga Police Department in New York. However, police intervention restricts the auditor's freedoms, which clearly constitutes a serious violation of the First Amendment. It's disappointing to see law enforcement not fully understand citizens' rights, and this needs to be emphasized and changed immediately. The lobby here. Mask out. Yeah. Never been down here to the police station here in Chitawana. How you doing? Can I help you? No, I'm just down here taking some pictures and uh, work. Okay. 
If people wanted to come down here and say get a complaint form, down here and say get a complaint form, it would come. They could come down here. Or would they file that online? How is that procedure done on that? Uh, paper copy. There are paper copies. File one. I, I'm assuming you could file one online as well, because I can't imagine they're only doing a paper copy. Use the computer. Do you need one? No, I don't need one at this time. I was just, you know, for the video and the. All right, thank you. So you can come down here and get a complaint form, people. If uh, so far I have not had any problems in Cheek to Wallaga, I don't seem to need one. Take a walk around the building back by the courts. To their towers. The courthouse entrance. Looks like the parking for the courts and all that back. Tons of parking. I've heard they fill this courtroom. I suppose they're pretty good going on it. There's some neat trains and stuff over at the Senior Citizen Center over there. I'm not sure, looks like they got the highway department back. on the cop car and they gotta exit outside the car inside All right, it goes right there. get one last look at these police cars here on our way out excellence matters here in Chitawaga scuffs on that one How you doing? Hello. Can I help you with something? No, I'm just out here working. Yeah, this is, this is a, a security area though. I know, they said... I didn't see no signs. Down. I see it because they are parked here unless you're here for police or court matters. I didn't see no signs that said yeah, no. Yeah, um... Restrict. The, uh, the poles over there. Um, what are you working for a story for? I'm just working on a story, taking some pictures. Our lot, take pictures. I can, uh, you know, maybe give you a phone number. You can talk to somebody if you no, want. I think I got just about these signs. Where did you say these signs were? Well, there's, there's, um, bars that come down here on the entrance and over there. I mean, if you walked in here, you wouldn't see them, but if you drove. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't drive in here. I just walked in here, I, but I didn't see Um, yeah, I have ID on me. I okay, just. Well, just log who you are so we know what's going on. Um. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to ask you to leave, okay? All right. You want me to get you a phone number that you can talk no, to? No, no, I was in, you know. Love the police cars here okay. in the public. No, nothing uh, other than that. And you just... want to give me your name? Dan? Okay, what's your last name? Um, yep, I'm walking up Just the Dan. Oh, the supervisor's yeah. on the way out here now, so maybe he can can't too. 15 also. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Yo, I didn't see any signs coming here. I definitely seen signs that said that you can't pass. No. But I just come down and take a look at the I mean, building it's also and get some pictures. Us, and... So I'm telling you now that it's, <clears throat> it's a, a private secure lot that we can't have in there. But you know, the supervisor's on his way out. If you want to do a story, you yeah, got to go I, about I like the right thing. Get the picture of the sign and then I'll be on my way for sure. Like you said, he's, he's on his way out, so like I said, if you want to do a story, it's him coming in the black mask right there. So, okay. Alright, I'm just sending my. Uh, he just wants to do a story. I told him. Uh, Can I get me... your name and badge number here? Yeah, my name's right here. And my badge number is 870. Thank you. Well, who are you doing a story for? Uh, just a private story this is dan he wants to do a story i guess he was at the front desk just taking some pictures a doing a story lot. working uh is there some pictures of the inside of the lobby and uh, to do a story on the police station? absolutely i would 
I don't really need directions. I was just come down to some pictures of the, you know, I took some pictures of the electric car, the police cars in here, the, you know, it says the, the medallions out about here and checking it out. Right, like I said, you, if you want to do that, though, you have to go through the correct avenues to do it. So if you if you want to talk to... In this situation, what excites me is the professionalism shown by the officers. They displayed admirable conduct. However, I also noticed that they were still handling the situation incorrectly. In the parking lot, there were no signs prohibiting photography, and clearly, the right to record here is entirely legal. Thankfully, after some honest discussions, both sides found common ground, and everything ended amicably. I hope that moving forward, both police and citizens will better understand each other's rights. So dialogues like this not only foster understanding, but also represent a step forward in protecting everyone's rights. Please, okay? All right. You want me to get you a phone number that you can talk no, to? No, no, I was just working out. All the police cars here in okay. the public. Not, nothing uh, other than that. You just... want to give me your name? You don't want to give me your... Okay, what's your last name? Um, yep, I'm walking on Just Dan. Oh, the supervisor's yeah. on the way out here now, so maybe he can give you some advice. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I didn't see any signs coming here. i definitely seen signs that said that you can't park in here unless you... I just come down and take a look at the building and get some pictures. I mean, it's also enforced by us, and... so I'm telling you now that it's, <clears> it's a, a private lot and that we, that we can't have in here. But, you know, the supervisor's on his way out. If you want to do a story, you yeah, got to go about like the right the, way to do it. Get the picture of the sign and it'll be on my way for sure. Like I said, he's, he's on his way out, so like I said, if you want to do a story, it's him coming in the black mask right there. So, what, do you want to give me your life? Oh, he's sending my... He just wants to do a story. I told him to start. Can I get your name and badge number here? Yeah, my name's right here. And my badge number is 870. Thank you. And well, who are you doing a story for? Uh, just a private story. Okay. He wants to do a story. I guess he was at the front desk. Just taking some pictures, to, doing a story, a working on a story for my... Is there took some pictures of the inside, inside in the lobby and... Uh, want to do a story on the police station? Absolutely, I would direct him to... I don't really need directions. I would just come down to some pictures of the, you know, I took some pictures of the electric cars over here, as in here, the, you know, it says the, the medallions out about excellence in and out. Right, like I said, you, if you want to do that, though, you have to go through the correct avenues to do it. So if you if you want to talk to Lieutenant Jure, phone number that you can talk to him. Um, yeah, I'll take his phone number. Yeah, sure, thanks. Do we know his phone number? What's that? I think a patch is really strong. Okay. He's the captain of the, the, the entire place, all of them. Yep, okay, like that. So that's why I quit the lot being, it's supposed to be in a enclosed And I said this is an enclosed lot. Is it, well, where is that at? There's over there that say, you know, police vehicles only. Police vehicles, you know, pedestrians walking through. Well, which is why I told you that I'm here telling you that. All right. <laughs> you know, so it's gotcha. no problem. I'm just, you know, telling you that you, you, uh, you were advised and now you, you, I'll give you this number if you want to get any more information. But you, you. that's yours. You can take that. You don't have to take a picture of it. Okay. Did so, you drive uh, here in a car? Yeah, I, I walked here, so I have to leave right now. Well, this little area, yeah, I mean, you can go to the cars in the little area here. This is and, a, and not not to be you know pushing it because I'm gonna leave. You guys asked yeah. me, I'm gonna leave. But a couple more pictures here. What uh, what would what would happen? Well, I don't even want to get to that point. If, if you said well, I mean, uh, my point is, there's no signs. But I, I, I would love to see it. I do. I would I'd like to see the signs of it. Says so a secured area where the police. I didn't see it when I walked. Police only, and you'll see. Oh, you've got, keep out. You've got this line. This one. So yeah, I, I came out over here from this okay. way. Yeah, I, I could see where you saw that. So it's instead of it's not like gate land or something. They say no trespassing all over. That's just so a lot of anybody coming through that this is police cars and everything that. You, you want to walk around this area? Yeah, I did. I, you know, I walked through here this way. I'm checking out those cars. Yep. I videoed some police cars while I was in here mm -hmm. and uh, walked around the building. I went up front, pamphlets for the story. And uh, yeah, I didn't see this sign here. And uh, I, I don't know, it's kind of poorly marked, but I will be on my way. Yeah, yeah, I, I got no problem with you. I mean, can I get your badge name? Sure. Number Three, of badge four. with you. Yep, and that number there, Lieutenant Jerase. If you got any questions or anything about it, I'm sure he'd be happy to answer them for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just going to walk out this way to see if there's any signs over there that I missed yeah, before this... I leave, and then uh, I'll be on my way. Walking through here, because it's not a roadway, I doubt there'll be signs. There for sure is on the other side, because generally it's down, but it's it's kind of a hassle to keep that, so we, we generally don't keep it down. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Oh, no, I think you guys answered it all. You guys were very, very respectful and uh, very polite, and... I appreciate that. You, um, because if you gave us your name, no, we would I, have your name logged, and we'd no, be like, oh, that's just the guy taking I'm pictures. I'm just Dan, um, and... Uh, okay.
but thank you very much. I look forward to such handling. When a mistake is recognized, it should be corrected immediately to avoid unnecessary disputes and unfortunate incidents. Living and working in the spirit of the Constitution not only helps protect individual rights, but also creates a more civilized society where everyone is respected and treated fairly. A police officer is abusing power to stop a driver in the middle of the road. Buddy, he can hit record with both phones, but you're going to step out here and we're going to try to identify. Well, how is stepping out going to make? I asked you okay, multiple so times. So I'm going to ask you, sir, so you're a su supervisor, correct? It doesn't matter. This is this stop right now. But, but. Am I getting pulled over for something? Well, you pulled into the water driveway back there. To turn around. Yeah. And it's true that a vehicle should not stop anywhere without just cause. Stopping on the highway should only happen when there's a no stopping sign or in emergencies. In this case, the driver simply needed to use his phone for navigation as he wasn't familiar with the area, so he temporarily stopped in a spot that did not obstruct traffic. It's surprising when police show up and demand ID and a driver's license without a clear reason. A debate ensues, and it's evident that the police are infringing upon the citizens' rights under the Fourth and Fifth Amendments. The driver's anger is entirely justified. He did nothing wrong and doesn't deserve to be questioned like a criminal. It's unfortunate that this incident occurs against the backdrop of protecting citizens' freedoms. See what I'm doing? Well, we're, uh, we're trying to identify you. Okay. For what? May, may I please have your driver's license? Is that a law infraction? Do you believe I have pulled committed? over over here on the road and I checked yeah. that. Because so I was going to look at the map. I didn't want to get on my cellular device. Well, that's good. I appreciate it. you have your driver's license? I have my driver's license with me, but I'm not certain I'm required to give it. Can you start an infraction? Any time you're requested by law enforcement to provide driver's license, you have to provide driver's license. If, if you've committed some Turn crime. Back there. Is that, that illegal? illegal? Was that and, illegal? And, and you pulled in, so we're trying to figure out what was you're doing. Was that illegal? There. We were trying to fix your doing there. But you're not to figure out what I'm doing, police. You're the law enforcement. Please. And that we're trying to figure out. It's suspicious. Right. Is, is, is one of these cars your supervisor? Yes, sir, it is. I'd like to talk to your supervisor, please. You're going to talk to me right now. And do you have your driver's license? I'm to give you my driver's license. And I'd like to talk to your supervisor to find out. Yes, sir. May, please. May I please get I don't believe you're giving me a lawful command, sir. Yes, yes, I am, sir. For, for what purpose do you need my ID? What what crime? Because it was suspicious of you to pull suspicious. into the Suspicious. Is that a misdemeanor or, or is that a felony? This way. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Suspicion that you were of doing crime? something. That you were loitering or something like that. Do you have? Do you have evidence that I was loitering? I turned around, yeah, because I saw that I couldn't get through. You couldn't get through. We, there, the road was open. I, I don't oh, know. Oh, I saw. It looked so. We turned around because we didn't think we oh, could get through. As you can see from our plate, we're not from here. Yeah. So yeah. I understand that. Do you have your driver's license? Am I, am I lawfully required to give you my ID? Yes, sir. Yes, what? Sir. What? For what purposes am I lawfully required? Well, what, I, just, it isn't a crime, and I didn't I break any ordinance. Of a suspicion, yes. Of, of a crime. Of a crime. Of a suspicion that you turn around, sir. I need your driver's license. Uh, I'm done answering questions. All right, sir. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle for me, sir. For what? Step out of the vehicle, sir. I just need to identify you. That, but for what? Hey, you're, you're making it harder. All I'm, I'm trying to do. Is I'm trying to make it. What law do you think I broke to pull me over for? You were down there. You pulled I, into the. Yes, I, I did. didn't know what you were doing, right? I turned around. That's the big property. I didn't right? know who it was. It's state property, so I came so down here to identify. So it's public property. It's state property. Okay. Public property, then. That's state property. It's property. Well, it's 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 articulable, reasonable, suspicious that you're performing something I turn around illegal in there, a or you're doing. So if I can, please I, I'm, identify you, sir. I'm not you, from sir. in this town. Okay, and that's fine. And all I have to do is identify you. We can get you on your way. What I was doing. Well, we're making sure that you're not a wanted person, you're with somebody that was going to go there what? and harm the harm the, the war. Formal request for your supervisor right okay. now. Okay, well that's fine, sir. I'm formally making a request right make, now for I'm your I'm making a formal request that you provide. It is a lawful request. For what reason do I need uh, like to Like I said, this? articulable suspicion. What, what is the statute? 35. Dot, dot 3611. What's the, your statute ID? It okay. says that if you've committed a crime, if you have the, in the commission of... Step out for me, sir. What's up, man? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get step identified step, step and here. I don't think I need this. Just what did he explain? Here. He explained that I turned around in someone's driveway. Into a driveway. Yes, I did. Okay. I have a question. I'm telling you exactly what I'm I don't, Is it unlawful to turn around in a driveway? Let me explain to Go you ahead. Get where I'm going. Go ahead. There in prison, correct? I don't know. I'm from, you can see I'm from All Florida. Right, so, okay. Okay. so this is what's going on. Okay. There's been offenses happening there. So I didn't know that. Have an incident going on right now. I didn't know now that you either. You pulled into the warden's driveway. Now you're leaving. I pulled into, so wasn't posted for trespassing. Well, if you were hand your phone to your buddy, he can hit record with both phones, but you're going to step out here. Well, how is stepping out going to make me identify? Because you're, you haven't cooperated. I asked you okay. multiple so times. So I'm going to ask here. you, sir, so you're a super, super. Right but but this, is this a lawful request yes. for my ID? That is correct. Can you tell me what lawful? Get out. I, my wallet's down there, so I can get you my ID from well, down there. Can you grab I'm not going to have you get it. Can you grab? I would, you, you think that? Okay. It, 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 so it, I'm going to identify myself. 
see you I'm gonna identify myself, but I am gonna make sure to follow. By all means, okay. please, sir. So I'm you're not telling you. I'm so, not telling so you. So you're right. Just for the record, you're identifying me right now for what purpose? Suspicious. Because around. I'm suspicious. Yes, you turned around. You, you don't know everything that has happened. I don't know anything that's okay. happened. I'm not so saying. I'm able to identify. Okay. So so you are identifying me for suspicious behavior. Yes. Nor a felony. It is. It, it nor have be. I committed well, 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 a traffic infraction. We don't know what you're doing. But honestly, this isn't gonna tell you what I have not made a traffic infraction, correct? Sir, you is pulled, that correct? You, you pulled into the water. Did I you make a traffic typical? infraction? You pulled into a driveway that does not yes, belong to you, right? I, yes. You don't know who it belongs to. Correct. Informed you. Yes. When I initially informed you when I asked for your driver's license, you asked for the reason. I informed you whose whose driveway that which, was. Which I asked was I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure out because of the My ID is gonna make it yes or not yes, unlawful? Sir. Yes, sir. My, I, I, I am handing you my driver's license yes, under sir. duress. Under uh, threat okay. of, am I going to get arrested if I don't? Charge. I'm just asking for your driver's am license. Am I going to be arrested if I don't give you I'm my driver's license? I'm just asking for your driver's license. Yes, sir, if you can't be arrested. The conflict doesn't stop there. The arguments become increasingly heated with unreasonable threats from the police. Anger swells, and the driver can't contain himself, shouting out words filled with rage. Tyrant! That's how he wants to address this officer. The injustice and aggressive attitude of the police made him unable to remain silent in the face of such clear abuse of power, and that anger burned within him, making every word sharper and more powerful than ever. Requesting it, requiring it by law, I am requiring under it by threat law. of arrest, and I will, I am I will requiring get arrested if I don't ID myself. There is state law that says when you are requested That's by law yes enforcement, yes or no. Yes, okay. if you are required by law enforcement, okay. you, there's a reasonable suspicion. This is articulable reasonable suspicion. You just proved it. Of what it. crime? Of what crime? Whoa! You just battered me, sir. Step out here, because I've given you lawful commands. I, and you have my ID. Please, please. And you have my ID. Okay, I'm stepping out. You don't need to manhandle me. I'm, I'm stepping not, out. How am I manhandling you? Step out. Step out. Okay, I'm stepping I'm out. Not, I don't want to be a drive because I've had I'm, that happen I, I'll before. I'll shut it off. All right, thank you. I didn't, even, I didn't even think of that. I apologize. Step, step back. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope the information shared has helped you better understand citizen rights and the importance of protecting them. If you found this video helpful and engaging, please like it and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to explore more meaningful content in the future. Together, let's raise awareness of our rights and create positive changes for our community.